Hi everyone! So, it's me again, Ma'am Sis. So, sa video na to, uh, magsasagot lang tayo na ibang mga problems about concentration of solutions. Okay? Okay. So, we have the given problem. So, how much water is needed by Dante, an agriculturist in Ilocos Norte, in order to prepare 1.79 mole per liter solution using 130 grams of magnesium oxide and water for their planted crops to prevent magnesium deficiencies which may result in poor and stunted plant growth. Okay? Same lang din kung paano tayo mag... Um, sagot ng mga problems, di ba? Kailangan, isulat muna natin yung given. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga given natin dito? Okay? So, ang given natin, we have ayan, 1.79 uh, mole liter. So, this is your molarity. So, we have molarity given which is 1.79 mole per liter. Okay, we also have the mass of magnesium oxide and water, which is 130. So, we have the mass of 130 grams. Okay, so required, ang hahanapin natin dito ay, ano, okay, um, volume ng water, di ba? So, hanapin natin dito ay, Volume ng volume of water. Ayan. So, wala naman sinabi kung ml or liters, di ba? So, since ang given natin ay molarity, so, liters yung magiging final answer natin. Okay? Solution. Ayan. So, paano natin gagawin to? So, we have the given mass, 130 grams, di ba? Tapos, may molarity tayo. Kailangan natin makuha kung ilan um, water ang kailangan ni Dante para makapag-prepare siya ng 1.79 mole per liter na solution gamit ang 130 grams ng magnesium oxide and water. Okay? So, unahin natin tong mass ng... Uh, magnesium oxide and water, yung given mass sa problem, kailangan natin tong ma-convert into mole. Okay? Para ma- um, para ma-cancel natin tong mole ng molarity at matira tong liters na kailangan natin. Okay? So, we have here 130 grams. of magnesium oxide. Para makuha natin yung mole ng MgO or magnesium oxide, mumultiply natin to sa molar mass ng MgO. Wherein, your molar mass here is 40.30. So, we have here 40.30 ang molar mass ng MgO. So, grams per mole. Okay. So, 130 grams of magnesium oxide times molar mass niya. So, we have 1 mole of magnesium oxide is over 40.30 grams of magnesium oxide. Okay? And then, pwede natin ito indiretso para isahan na lang. Times itong molarity na given. So, we have here um, 1 liter, di ba? Tapos, 1.79 mole MgO. Okay? So, by this time, cancel natin yung units. So, grams MgO. Then, we have the mole. So, matitira na lang is water. So, therefore, liters na lang matitira. Pag kinumpute natin itong 130 times 1 over 40.30 times 1 over 1.79, we will have 1.8021, 2651. Okay? Or, 
equal to 1.80 liters. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, um, kailangan natin ng 1.80 uh, liters na water kailangan ni Dante in order to prepare 1.79 mole of solution. Okay? So, ganun lang yung pagsagot dito sa sample problem number 1. Okay? Alamin mo muna yung given, ano yung hinahanap, tapos solution. Okay? So, analyze mo lang, kailang, uh, may, mayroon kang given na molarity mole per liter. So, ito na yung target natin, di ba? So, kailangan natin makuha itong liters na to. Meron tayong given na mass na 130. Okay? So, yung given na mass na yan, kailangan natin i-convert into mole. From then, mumultiply natin siya dun sa given na molarity. Tapos, makukuha na natin yung sagot. Okay? Okay, next problem. How many kilogram of magnesium oxide is needed by the farmer of Banawe to prepare 25 liters of magnesium oxide solution with a concentration of 2.75 molar in order to fertilize 4 hectares of rice field to assure a stable production? Same lang din ang procedure. Sulat natin yung given. Ano yung mga given natin dyan? Meron tayong volume, di ba? Which is 25 liters. Meron din tayong molarity. 2.75 M. Or, 2.75 mole per liter. Okay, bakit ko, uh, bakit ko siya ginagawang ganito? Kasi mas madali mo siyang masasagutan at malalaman mo kaagad kung ano yung kailangan or ano yung kailangan na i-cancel mo na units para makuha yung um, final answer. Okay? And then, ang required natin is the mass. Diba? Mass in mass in kilogram. Okay? So, solution. Mm -hmm. So, we have the volume and we have the given molarity, 2.75 mole per liter. So, start tayo dito kay volume. Okay? Parang kanina, di ba, nag-start tayo dun sa, um, sa mass. Dito naman, mag-start tayo sa volume. Okay, from the volume, given volume, 25 liters of magnesium oxide solution. Ayan. So, i-multiply natin siya ngayon dito sa given na um, molar mass. Okay? So, ang given na molar mass dito is... Ay, molarity pala. Sorry. Molarity. So, we have here the molarity, 2.75 mole MgO all over 1 liter MgO solution. Okay. Then, ang next dyan, di ba we have now the uh, mole, di ba? Kailangan makonvert natin sa, kailangan ng final answer natin dito is in kilogram. So, from here sa mole, convert natin siya or multiply natin to sa molar mass ng MgO. Tama? Wherein, the molar mass of your MgO is 40.30 grams per mole. Okay, molar mass to ng MgO. Ah. Ayan. So, 40.30 grams of MgO all over 1 mole of MgO. Okay? So, don't forget to cancel the unit. So, cancel, 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 cancel. Ano natira natin? Itong mass, yung grams, di ba? So, solve lang natin. So, meron tayong 25 times 2.75 over 1 times 40.30 over 1. So, we will have, meron tayong 2 point, o 2,700, wait lang, ayusin natin. 
Ayan. So, meron tayong 2,700 2,770.625 grams. Okay? So, ito na ba yung final answer natin? Very good. Hindi pa. Bakit? Kasi ang hinahanap natin ay kilogram of magnesium oxide. So, kung meron tayong 2,770 grams of magnesium oxide na nakuha, okay, so, i-convert naman natin tong nakuha natin grams to kilogram. So, from here, 2,770.625 grams of MgO. So, multiply lang natin siya sa so for every um, 1,000 o oh, grams ng MgO, meron kang 1 kilogram of MgO. Tama? Okay. So, cancel the units. Cancel natin yung grams para matira si um, si kilogram. Okay. So, 2,770.625 times 1 over 1,000. So, we'll have 2.770625 kilogram MgO. Okay? So, is also equal to okay, 2.77 kilogram MgO. Okay? So, this will be your final answer. So, ibig sabihin niyan, Kailangan ng farmer ng taga-Banawe ng 2.77 kg ng magnesium oxide para makapag-prepare siya ng 25 liters of magnesium oxide solution with a concentration of 2.75 molar in order to fertilize 4 hectares of rice field to assure a stable production. Okay? So, ganun lang po. Ang... Um, pag-solve ng or pag-compute or pag-calculate ng concentration of solution. So, kailangan mo munang isulat yung given, ano yung kailangan mong makuha, tapos i-analyze mo yung problem, ano ba yung kailangan kong unang gawin, meron akong given na volume or mass, tapos may molarity ako, kailangan kong ma ma-produce yung ganitong answer, so ano yung uunahin ko. Okay? So, kailangan mo i-analyze palagi yung problem bago ka mag, uh, mag-compute ka agad. Okay? So, ganun lang po yung pag-compute ng concentration of solution. So, if you have questions regarding this, pwede kayo mag-comment or mag-message uh, lang sa akin. Okay? Thank you for listening. I hope meron kayong natutunan dito sa video na to. God bless us all.